guys, I just got back from Taco Bell. It's it's four in the morning, four forty in the morning. If you guys can see that, what I want to actually talk about, right, is like how do you actually start making money online, and how do you actually start making you know your first hundred dollar day, your first two hundred dollar day, your first five hundred dollar, your first thousand dollar day. Like I, me personally, like I've I've taught people and I've had students make thirty thousand dollars in one day. All right, that's what Shopify dropshipping. That's something I talk about a lot on my channel. If you're new here, this is a little bit of a different video. I'm just talking in general, like hey, how 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 can you get started? You know, making money online or like just start generating traffic to your store start getting results online there's lots of ways you can do it okay so I'm gonna talk about three different ways to do this number one e-commerce right sell something online the entire world is commerce everything you see is money it was made by someone and it was sold by someone or something and it was bought by someone or something right every single thing you see trash bag a coffee mug a coffee table anything like that it was made by someone right money involved bought by someone wholesale money involved Sold by someone, retail money involved, right? So everything has some sort of monetary value, all right? And that's that's kind of like, I don't know. Once you start changing your mindset, the value of anything, monetary or not, you see things differently. Like, oh, a video game. Okay, well, obviously there's a lot of developers involved. There's lots of money that you have to pay developers. You know, hourly profit. Like, there's there's a bunch of different stuff involved, right? And I was getting a little bit sidetracked, but everything is worth something to someone. And in e-commerce, especially selling things online, all you have to do is convince someone that it's worth that amount to them and sell it to them, all right? So that, that's, that's, that's a lot of what kind of I do. I'm huge on you know, Shopify dropshipping, which is the type of e-commerce where you basically don't hold any inventory. Super easy to get into. You can literally get started for less than $30. I got started for less than $30 when I first dropped out of college. That's what basically bought me this, this penthouse and the car you guys saw earlier, just Shopify dropshipping, okay? So that's what I got started with. It's super easy to start with. Again, there's a bunch of free mini courses down below if you want to check that out. But that, that, that's one, that, that's just one way. There's so many different ways to make money online, actually start making you know, your first hundred dollars, all right? So just to dive into that a little bit before I touch the, you know, the other affiliate marketing, all the other um, things I want to touch on, Shopify dropshipping, right? Again, dropshipping is where you don't hold inventory, right? You're the middleman, you facilitate transactions, okay? You have a website, you send traffic to that website, someone buys it, you then take their money that they just gave you to buy the product, and you buy it wholesale from a supplier. All right. Now, what you guys don't realize is lots of companies are doing this. Walmart, they're basically just a brick and mortar drop shipper, okay? In, in a sense, they're getting products wholesale from some suppliers somewhere in the world. They're selling it to you marked up. Now, you're just doing that on a smaller scale, right? It's literally that simple. You're not reinventing the wheel. There's no innovation involved, okay? I know people selling mugs making thousands a day. I know people selling beanies making thousands a day. I know people selling phone cases making thousands a day. It's so easy to make money on like money's everywhere. Okay, and once you realize that in your head, then you kind of think about things differently and you can start, you know, seeing results. Obviously, there's a lot more involved with, you know, kind of getting that traffic to your store, converting, um, you know, gathering data, retargeting, scaling with paid ads. Like, there's a bunch of stuff involved with Shopify Dropshipping, but that, that's like, that's what I teach us, what I'm good at, which is why there's a bunch of other videos on this channel about it, which is why I have a course down below if you guys want to get into that. But I realize if you're watching this video, right, how to make money, how to start making $100 a day, then you might, you know, be on a bit of a lower kind of budget, right? You may not be. I'm trying to, like, cultivate this video for, for a lot of you guys. And so, again, you can get started with basically zero money. I'm not going to say zero because it's very hard to get started with zero money or even less than, you know, $30. It's, it's still challenging, but it's possible, okay? Now, there's other ways of generating revenue online, okay? Another good way that a lot of people go to when they don't have a big budget, they don't have a lot of money to, like, lose or spend or test or experiment with, right, is affiliate marketing. Now, what is that, okay? Basically, Every company uses affiliate marketing to some extent. Amazon, the world's biggest retailer, uses affiliates, right? There's Amazon Associates, okay? And you can sign up for that and you can get commissions, basically. That's saying, hey, if you get your friend, your dad, your mom, your sister to click on your little link and they buy something from Amazon, you get paid. You get, you get a percent of whatever they bought to you, right? Goes to your bank account. That's, that's literally what affiliate marketing is. is hey, you're not making a product, you're not creating a product, you're not, you know, doing all the, you're not, you're not actually creating like marketing assets, materials to be used. You're basically taking a completely rounded off product, finished, completely packaged up, ready to go, showing it to someone that might be interested in it and having them buy it. There's no product research involved, there's no manufacturing involved, there's no inventory involved. Like you're just showing someone something that they might be interested in if they are, and they buy it and you get a cut from it because you get basically referred them, right? It's basically like a refer a friend type thing, except when you guys want to make a lot more money, right? Then it doesn't become just a refer a friend, it becomes refer everyone in the world, right? So literally guys, affiliate marketing, and actually start making money from that is just 
getting traffic, having some form of traffic source, right? And again, if you're working with a really low budget, guys, YouTube, for example, for example, if you're reviewing, I don't know, electronics or a product or something, right? Like, a, not a TV, but like, I don't know, headphones, right? If you're reviewing headphones, you could buy that headphone, maybe you already have it, and you make a video review about it, okay? You just review it, the quality, the sound, blah, 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 whatever relates to earphones or headphones, whatever. You post it on YouTube and you say, hey guys, this is my review of blah, blah, blah headphone. If you guys are interested in it, you can purchase it down below in the description. And you have your Amazon affiliate link there, right? Boom, if someone goes there and clicks your link, they don't need to even buy that specific product. They can buy anything on Amazon, anything on Amazon, and you get a cut from it, right? So that's one way to do affiliate marketing, okay? Now, Amazon isn't the only thing, again, a lot of companies use affiliate marketing. GoDaddy, where you can buy a website domain, like YouTube.com, that's a website domain, Facebook.com, those are domain, those are domain names. Okay, GoDaddy has a referral program. If you, you know, run some ads, so again, it's a little bit more complex, especially if you're new to just affiliate marketing in general, it can be kind of daunting to just kind of throw paid ads at some sort of you know, affiliate product and hope someone buys it, right? Because you haven't experimented with marketing a lot or just with you know, scaling ads, marketing, convincing people of value for certain like offer or product, something like that. So it can be a little daunting in that kind of sense of it, but just the thing is, is like, hey, if you come in affiliate for something, it's literally free, so you don't have to spend anything out of money or out of pocket, right? And it's just a matter of, hey, can I at least show one person that this is valuable to them and have them buy it, okay? If you can show just one person, just, just one person that is valuable to them, then you can show two people. If you're able to show two people that is valuable, you can show five. If you're able to show five people that is valuable, you can show 10, and then from there, you can go show 10, you can show 100, you can show 1,000, okay? Now, that's the hard part. It's like, how do I get, you know, my, like how do I get this, this product of value that I'm trying to promote in front of all these people, okay? Again, if you don't have a big budget to play with, there's lots of free ways, YouTube, okay? Posting to Facebook, I'm not, like these are all very like rudimentary ways, okay? You're not gonna get like rich overnight from posting, you know, a link to Facebook and hoping your friends and family buy it, okay? I'm just saying this is a way to generate some form of organic traffic. You can join, you know, interest groups on Facebook and say, hey guys, what do you think of this product? Click on down below. Sometimes it's not allowed, be careful, because there are rules of like promoting and stuff like that, but I'm just saying to start off, if you guys literally have nothing to start with, organic, okay? Social media is one of the best tools for just blowing up organically, getting organic traffic. Just once you guys get your first sale in affiliate marketing, anything like that, that's when you can kind of be like, oh, it's possible, okay? Your first sale is just basically saying like, you can do it, right? Now imagine you getting 100 sales, 1,000 sales, 100 a day, right? The only difference between you getting one sale and 100 a day is the amount of eyeballs you're driving to your offer or the amount of eyeballs you're driving to your own site, right? So it's basically just, hey, if I can, you know, for example, if it took you, I don't know, 10 visits to your link to get one person to buy, then if you had 100 visits to your link, you theoretically should get 10 people to buy the offer, right? So it's just a matter of how do I get these eyeballs to my site? How do I get this traffic to my site, to my website, to my offer, to my affiliate link, okay? And a lot of times there's a bunch of different ways to, that, that you can go about doing that and that's, that's kind of just what I touch on. It's like, hey, if you wanna make your first $100 day, what can you do? For example, Shopify drops you, right? Shopify itself has a referral program. Right, that basically says, hey, if you sign someone up for Shopify and they make a website to sell things online from your link, we'll pay you, all right? You can even see that in action in my description, all right? I have a Shopify trial link down there. If someone clicks it, right, they start their store, they start earning money with their store, okay, because I'm good at teaching dropshipping, then, then I get paid because I referred them to Shopify. And they're basically saying, thank you for referring this customer to us, here's some money, right? So that's, that's the gist of it, right? And how am I you know, generating traffic for it? I'm making valuable, relevant videos about the subject matter, people are interested and they wanna do it, right? They, they see the value of it, they see the, the opportunity involved, they go down, click it, start, uh, you know, to create a website, and then you know, they're making money, selling whatever they're selling, and I just made you know, a commission because they joined from me, like because of me, because of the value I provided in like in, in lieu of the company, right? So that, that's kind of an example of just a work in action of just like what's going on or like how you can actually drive traffic to it, guys. And then the, the key of it basically is just scaling, right? That's the most important factor is like how are you actually gonna scale? How are you actually gonna go from 100 to 1,000 views? Are you gonna go from 1,000 to 10,000 views on your link, right? Because then usually, typically, if you're sending good, relevant, interested traffic, the more views you get, the more sales you get, the more commissions you get, okay? So that, that's the gist of it, guys. It all starts with your first sale, and it's all about figuring out, you know, what you want to sell, okay? There's lots of things you can sell, and me personally, I'm very much, plugged in into the e-commerce space. So most of the affiliate stuff I sell 
is e-commerce related. For example, like the Shopify thing, right? Or, you know, any sort of softwares that are actually valuable to my audience, to me, that I actually use, then I'll show it to my audience. Be like, hey, this is actually really valuable to use. I use it, look into it, right? And I just show them the value of it, and you know, you can get them interested. If they see value in it, then they purchase it, right? If they don't, then they don't, and that's, the, you know, that's, that's their own opinion. But that, that's kind of the gist of it, guys. Like, hey, how do you make your first $100 online? Well, you can literally, literally have one person buy a product from Amazon if it's expensive. Like for you know, this $3,000 TV, if, if, if someone referred me to Amazon and I bought that TV, they would have made a commission from that, right? So you can make 100 a day very, very easily. It's just a matter of you know, what you're promoting, how you're promoting it, and the amount of traffic you're getting to your promotion, to, you, to your offer, right? So that, that's, that's the gist of it, guys. Um, I know it was a very kind of uh, quick, I don't know, I'm out of breath because I was talking and just walking around, but that's just because like, how do you actually make your $100 a day? Um, just how do you make $100 a day online? There's lots of ways, okay? I mainly touched on Shopify dropshipping and affiliate marketing, the two things that I'm most plugged into at the moment. I'm always experimenting with a bunch of different stuff like Amazon FBA, all this other stuff, but that stuff requires more of like capital to put in right away, right? Affiliate marketing, zero. Shopify, a little bit more than zero, but you know, you can get away with it for 30, 50, 100. Um, it's just challenging at times, okay? And I'm making lots more videos. If you guys are interested in affiliate marketing, um, I actually am coming out with an entire course on that just because a lot of people just are confused, basically just like, hey, you know, they, they, they know what it is, right? A lot of you guys, like, you're smart, you've done your research, you know what affiliate marketing is, you know how to make money, you just haven't made your money, right? It's, it's like saying, hey, I know how to make $10, I just haven't made $10 yet. Um, but there's lots of different ways to do that, and some ways are a lot easier than others, and some people just don't know how to actually scale or get traffic to their offer, right? So if you guys are interested in an affiliate marketing course, I will have a link down below that's purely just to say, hey, I'm interested in it. You're not, you know, buying anything. You're not, I'm not taking your credit card. I'm literally just taking your email, all right? So that, hey, when you are interested, when I am, you know, done prepping this course, because I do like to take time, of course, to make sure they're actually good and bring on, you know, really good people at, in the industry as well so that you can get multiple perspectives and whatnot. So that's the gist of you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment. I respond to all your guys' comments and subscribe. Join the family, guys. We are growing. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related, from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.